Hi, Aquarius, and welcome to your special message for week three, the timeless reading. What aren't they telling you? This week, this week offered you a little info on what to add to your offerings, Aquarius. It may be a turn of phrase or a sweet sentiment that you provide, but some communication helped you build bridges to more wealth, prosperity, and greater opportunities to wield your wars. Okay. In short, you're well positioned for that bonus. The question is, will you invest in it? This week brought a resurgence of energy that makes you move about your daily life with more optimism. Or at the very least, a little bit more of a victorious attitude. Airy season will bring with it a frisky, no-nonsense tone that infiltrates your exchanges and ways you reach out to others. But as Mars will try and Saturn, you'll get to experience the benefits of all of the structures that you've put in place personally and otherwise. Your creative projects gets bolstered by your thoroughness and foresight and other sense this serious sense sense senses this seriousness in you. All of the responsibilities and commitments that you made are paying off. It's time that you celebrate the good that has come from all of your hard work. And what's influencing you is, believe it or not, the moon in Aries. Having courage. The moon in Aries, the card of 13, the sum of which is four, all about your courage, courage to reinvent your stability, believing in yourself. That's what this does. OK, well, I hope that that gave you a little inspiration, Aquarius. Let's get into your video. Hi guys and welcome to your March 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Read in Week 3 for the beautiful sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, hello to my members. Hello, Aqua. Um, I hope you enjoyed your special message. Um, it is go time for you guys. Um, and so it was beautiful. So I hope that the things that you are cultivating come to pass in your life and good luck with that. This is going to be again, the what aren't they telling you? We're going to take a look and see how your partner and what your partner isn't telling you. But first, we always start with a three card quantum reading um, just to get energetically where you at. These are energy cards. Understand, guys, this is energy. Um, and everything is energy. So how you're interacting with people, what are your intentions, what's on your conscious, things of that nature. So um, the more and more I introduce this, the more and more this uh, comes into play. You guys are kind of getting used to it. OK, so everything that you need from me is below. I also want to draw your attention <coughs> to four different categories or four different videos down in the description box. The first one is going to be your seven card quantum cross for March 2021 for your sign. The second video is going to be either your episode from last week and week two to see what they were not telling you then and what was going on. Everything's time stamped, by the way, in this particular series, because I give you three different readings in one. By the way, um, the second, the third one is going to be the informational video that accompanies this week's um, series. And the fourth and final is going to be your you versus them. I am so excited to bring those. Um, I got some more cards that we're going to be using. I cannot wait. Um, the first through the 15th, you versus them is up for your sign, Aqua. Um, I'm going to be bringing you the um 15th through the end of the month in the next couple of days those those messages are wedged between week three and week four so you will get that let's get started so the first card that is 
indicating a past influence that's bringing energy into your current circumstances is the loving man. This loving man comes up for you guys a lot. It seems like every Aquarius video of the loving man comes out. We do have that as a five. I tell you guys all the time, fives bring challenges. It has been a challenge for this individual to love you or to bring love to you the way in which you need love, or it could be a metaphor for finding the loving man. I want you guys to understand that the three cards are energy cards, and you should take them as energy. Sometimes they're not literal. They're very metaphoric, okay? So look at that in people, places, and things in your life. Um, also, where you are right now is you're on the verge of discovery. Now, had I, I had already showed you that you needed to believe in yourself and the moon in Aries and have some courage. Um, so you have to believe in yourself as well as that was very, very much so supported by your special message. So you are in a discovery. This is setting the intention to discover, opening yourself up to other parts of you, people, places, and things, and you're going to be transforming into that energy. Um, it doesn't feel like... Well, yeah, you have something has to end in order for you to find yourself. But it's really interesting what you have here. There could be a choice between two people. But anyway, let's keep going. And we end with present power, walking into your present power. This is the consciousness card. Um, the, the potential outcome, obviously, is that if you do, um, if you're into this energy and this energy resonates with you, you're going to be walking out in your present power. You are powerful. Um, again, that goes and falls right back in line with having courage for yourself and obviously believing in yourself. And that is being clarified by travel. So there's something that you need to do, something that you need, some place that you need to be. Um, you need to get out of your current circumstances. I am a prime example of that. I definitely had to have a um, change of scenery and left on my own, put put together a plan. All it takes is a little money in a bank and a plan and a good plan. You're not going to be able to, um, you know, foresee all of the little things that comes along, but you, a well put together plan and a good support system, you can make it. So if, if you're being guided to travel, go and explore, Okay. Um, an energy that could be weaving in and out of your present energy right now is the consciousness of lack. It could be because of that loving man. That loving man was also a five and he is a person. So it's coming in um, as maybe this is what you're in. As you can see, this man is, um, this is a heart back here. So that is a consciousness of lack. And you want to move out of that. That could have been the exact energy that actually held you down and made you stagnant. And that's being clarified by well-being. So I think this is a time for discovery for you, for you to do things that are about you. And it was very, this is very similar to the Cancer's reading. Sometimes you have to get lost to find yourself. I told them to come home to, your, to themselves. I'm telling you to step into your courage. First card. That represents what your person is and telling you is the nine of cups. The second card is the tower. Something has definitely broken down. In the heart place, we do have ace of swords. We have the king of cups. And we have the king of, is that pentacles? Wands. We have two different kings. Now... I typically don't automatically see the energy of two kings and think someone has a choice between no. Metaphorically speaking, this could be you having a choice between two things, not necessarily two people. Going after what you love and the energy of your passion and the energy of this king of wands and staying comfortable with what right where you are because that feeling of comfort is there. Um this is a going after what you want, but the two could be completely different. You could put the two together as well. Um, the top of the deck's energy is two eights. There's been a power struggle. And if you can see, the power struggles are still in the energy of two different energies. So this lets me know that 
this is a quick conclusion. This kind of goes in line with the energy of the King of Wands. I want to go and be spontaneous and move and get this done ASAP. Um, I want to walk into my passion. I want it to move quickly. Eights are about movement and the Eight of Wands is Cupid's Arrows. It is fast moving communication. It is a quick conclusion. However, what's against that is do I stay and continue to invest? This is the Eight of Coins or the Eight of Pentacles. Working so hard toward this goal. Do I stop working toward something or do I go after? I leave that there and go after what it is that I want. Your person feels like you are their wish. There is a energy between you guys where, the, where is there, there is a wish of family and togetherness. But something came crashing down. A truth was revealed and the choice must be made. Let's go ahead and go into the love oracle. I'm going to shuffle a few times. Um, I feel as if your partner is knowing that you want to go somewhere else, knowing that you want to be somewhere else, knowing that you're not happy where you are, but maybe they're holding you hostage because of how you feel or, you know, and what you've invested possibly, but it's looking like your partner is, um, wanting you, something came crashing down with somebody. And now there's a choice. I do know that there's a choice to be made. One of these things is that loving man or not. Clarify nine of cups. We do have planning ahead. So divine timing is aligned. There was a plan here, obviously. Um, a plan for your life. A plan uh, for happiness with that nine of cups. Someone feels like uh, your partner is saying that a wish came true, Aqua. She's pregnant in this um in this card, but something happened. This tried to come out, but I'm gonna keep going. Show me. Ooh, I don't like this. What ended was the toxic relationship, relationship abuse. I don't like this. Toxic relationship. Your person, I'm reading this in the vein of the individual that loves you. This is what aren't they telling you. It has yet to be revealed who's being toxic yet. There is a truth that you did have fun times together. But fun times does not sustain a relationship. King of Cups. No to the feelings. Okay, now it's making sense. They're coming through and knowing that you're saying no to, to keep this. Yep. Yep. They've come back. A past, a past lover returns. All right. This is what they're not telling you, that they know that the relationship is over. Perhaps an ex-lover or a past life partner. Um, you guys um, broke up. You did have a good time together. You've cut the feelings off and they know that you're saying no to those feelings. They are coming back in. They're saying that they love you and they're coming back in because they feel like that you're their soulmate. Look how that came out. Wow. Damn. Okay. But that didn't give me enough. So I am going to break out. I call it the ratchet deck, but it definitely lets me know. I'm going to get a couple from the Island Time Wellness. This is... Deck two, the mini deck, deck one, I normally use in my comprehensive extension. This is the deck that I use in the you versus them. Just going to go ahead and get some clarifiers from a relationship abuse. Yep, they returned into your life. That's going, this is blast from the past and this is the past returns. Yep, 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 yep. Um, I'm telling you that I don't feel like this is a choice between two. You could very well be like Marv. Yes, there is a King of Cups. I'm already moved on with somebody else. And now the past is trying to return. This King of Wands is trying to return. But 
I see a no right there. So no is clarifying the king of cups. I feel like that's also the energy of this person. It could be a completely different person. They've returned from the past. Give me something else. And you are keeping your space. You are not playing. Um, you, you are in your space. You are not playing with this person and not letting them in. Show me spirit. And then we have yes. They, they, they came at you. You didn't think that after everything that you guys have been through, that they would have the audacity to actually feel like they wanted to come back and have a revelation about how they were feeling about you. You think that that is just pure craziness. You've walked away from this. You have definitely walked away from this and you don't want any parts of this. Let's go in now with sacred soulmates. They are saying that. You are a soulmate to them. They want to renew an adventure. That's what they want. That's my plan in the head. Clarify relationship abuse. Oh, nice. Clarify. Come on. Clarify. Oh. All right. Hold on. Let me shuffle again. We're in, we're in a pattern. What's this relationship of the spirit that came crashing down for Aquarius? Ah, the external party. There was just too much. It was too much. It was karmic contracts, family, finances, and other material concerns or responsibility that caused interference and stress in this relationship. And it came crashing down. Clarify fun times. Unresolved wounds, karmic patterns, and inheritances affected the situation. And there was more karmic. This is another karmic patterns. Um, this, oh, oh. There, this is, yes, we had a good time, but that's not enough to sustain a relationship. So I decline. You're saying no to the love. This is the white flag. So, yes, I really do feel like this is two facets of their personality. I'm sorry. That's what I'm going with. They want to come and step up into their king of cups because they know what they want now. You're saying no. And that's being clarified by white flag. Someone wants another chance to do things right. It makes sense. Clarify past relationship, the past returns. This king of wands. Yes. He, they're in your energy, strong uh, uh, telepathic bond because it is, it is, it, listen, it is a soulmate relationship or was, but that doesn't mean you were meant to be with this person. You understand? Give me one more, please. Ugh, one more time that you fall. Gee, because when it does, it's hard for me to pick them up with, with my claws. Yep, stalemate. This situation, someone needs to make decisive action. Um, the top of the deck is guilt. They feel guilty. Guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering this relationship. You're done. Um, you don't want to be bothered with it. So it looks like everything that I was explaining up there is exactly what you're going through right now, Aquarius. You know... They could be working hard, but I think that you constantly felt like something was missing with this person. Um, I'm looking at the relationship abuse. It was just toxic and you don't have time. You're trying to move away from that. You're, you, you have, you, I mean, you have planned ahead. You want this, this, this divine timing. You accept it, but you want it with someone else. You do not want this with this person. Um, and they're coming through and understanding. They're taking responsibility for what they've done, but they're not. That, but all of the responsibility in the world couldn't couldn't uh, make you change your mind toward this person. Wow, you've moved on. You have moved on. You are saying no to the love. No, blocking the love. You want something different. You are good, but the past has returned. A past soulmate has returned. Here we go. An ex-lover or a past life, a past, look at this, soulmate. The past is returning. You are not trying to hear it. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. To everyone here, thank you for watching. 
Hope it resonated. Let me know how you feel about it in the description. To everybody else, I will see you in the mini extension. And I guess to everybody else, I'll see you next week. Bye, Aquarius.